Hello, my name is Anthony Vidana. I'm an Apollo engineer. This uh, presentation is about the Apollo program Building 6 Downey GSC Electrical Systems and Integration Engineering, which is located in Building 6. Uh, going to discuss a little bit of what the what in engineers did at that in that area. Uh, President Kennedy decided to start the space program, the Apollo, and uh, it was decided that the uh, command module and the service module, which is a spaceship, was going to be built in Downey, California. And uh, this facility is huge, and it was the engineering staff for the ground support equipment was on in Building 6. And uh, this is sh shows the uh, building 290 and building 6 and 6 on the right hand side on top. The uh, engineering department was on the second floor primarily. And uh, the, this is a layout of the, the engineering uh, area. It was primarily open bay. We had the bosses upstairs and we had some conference rooms. It was very uh, unique. Anyway, this engineering staff here it's a picture of it. Anyway, I got promoted from engineer to techni from technician to engineer, and I was put in this department. The difference is the technicians work with their hands, and the engineers work with the blueprints and and uh, things of that nature. Anyway, they give, we have different badges. The white badge is kind of a status thing. We had the engineer on it, with the uh, craft people didn't have one. Here's a picture of me working on. Uh, one of the uh, console I put in. Uh, it was just a drawer that had a lot of uh, cables and things in it. Uh, he did other things too. This was the RF room assigned to that particular job. And that's one of the specs I produced. It was a test for adding in a, a clipper. And uh, this, uh, the, the equipment was part of this group of equipment here. And uh, these uh, the RF uh, areas, uh, this RF amplifier, would be run through a, a patch cable, and uh, we didn't use switches because the, the, the frequency was too high for that, and we'd run the test, whatever it had to be done. Here's a patch panel to see what it looks like. Anyway, they used trumpeter cables. Anyway, this is the organizational chart we used. It shows all the different groups that are on that floor. Uh, my group was uh, 458, the Communication, Instrumentation, and Sequential Systems group. And then we had our own little cubicle with about 10 guys and 15 guys in there. And then uh, adjacent to us, we had the Electrical Power uh, Systems group. And they were uh, uh, 457. Then 456 was the Electrical Design. And the ACE and GNS systems were... Uh, group 455 and facilities uh, and data support was uh, department 454 and the launch complex facility people were f department 453 in another cubicle and uh, another cubicle had the, uh, the Downey and uh, facilities group there that's uh, building 451 group 451 so it's uh, it, we had quite a bit of people you can see in there. Uh, we had it listed down there. It showed 120 people per for Downey, which was probably all on that floor. Um, uh, we had engineers there had different types of degrees, and we had an area that was called a PhD row with all these guys that had PhDs. It was really impressive, and uh, they, they, they uh, well, the engineers were using. Uh, would sit in desk and the designers and draftsmen would use uh, drafting tables. So it was uh, quite an operation there. I don't know what all these other engineers did. I was an electronic engineer. Engineer was kind of a low rank guy and I came in as a technician to an engineer so I was doing what they told me to do and I worked on, on the S-band stuff. So um, I was uh, glad to be a part of this system so and uh, we went on to do a, a lot of other work there this group all supported the te uh, uh, 
Florida and uh, which is uh, the people at the Cape and the one in Texas and some other areas too so we uh, it was uh, quite an operation. I continued my education in engineering and uh, proceeded to get a uh, degree from Cal State Long Beach and I decided to change careers to uh, electrical power rather than communications and I got into the uh, facilities department and worked on buildings instead and I started working, I stayed working with that for the rest of my career, working in power and um, buildings itself. Uh, I was working on the space shuttle, uh, putting in uh, the buildings for those in Palm, Palmdale and other areas too. I've worked in Seal Beach doing facilities and down too. So it was kind of like going back to the places I was at and seeing it from a different perspective and putting in power for all these computer centers and things of that nature. Um, I later on got my professional engineering license and started my own company in engineering. So uh, the Apollo, I uh, worked on Apollo for about eight years and it was, I worked primarily then as a technician then a uh, short period I worked as a associate engineer. And later on I finished my career uh, working as a power engineer and uh, it uh, had a lot more authority being uh, engineer of record. So thank you for watching my video and I appreciate you, your time. Uh, good no goodbye now.